How was it putting on the suit again and stepping back into the world of kick-ass? It was tight. <laughs> it was good. It was good fun. How was it to get back into that role and back into Dave mode? It was challenging um, because uh, it was kind of it was new for me to kind of do go back to the same character. It's not uh, I usually just go from one thing to the next and 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 and, and very differently. So uh, it was it was a bit of a mind puzzle to do. <laughs> Trying to think of the right words to use for you. I don't know what your but yes. How was it reuniting with Chris and Chloe and? Um, amazing, you know, I, I think they're, uh, uh, you know, I love hanging around with them, they're awesome, they're like family, you know, it's awesome. they're just fantastic, talented actors, and um, we didn't need to do a second one, you know, there was like, meaning we didn't have options to do a second sequel, um, um, but we all were, uh, we all signed up to do it because, you know, we all worked together really well, and, and we loved the story, and, you know, so I was excited to do it. So set up Kick-Ass 2, where is Dave now? What happens in this one? He's in exactly the same place as you last saw him, really. Um, he just graduated from high school, doesn't really know what to do with his life, other than that he likes dressing up as a superhero, and, um, but realises that, you know, it's about time to start getting good at fighting, otherwise he's going to get his head kicked in. Um, and who better to train him than Hit Girl? So he's, his mind is all about... How can I, how can I become the best uh, superhero ever? And and I think we need to start making teams and you know start imitating like the Avengers and, and Justice League and all that stuff. So yeah, the Kickass trend is like picked up and caught on. There's more people out there like Kickass. Set up some of the new characters. Yeah, there's a bunch of new characters in the movie. But um, um, yeah, there was a documentary in between also of, like, of real life people that kind of dressing up as superheroes and things like that, but who have been around for years. But you know, the, the trend of, of, of there are people that do it, so that's interesting. But. Um, why should people go see Kick Ass 2? What makes it bigger, bad, or more fun? What makes it bigger, bad, and more fun? Um, you know, if you saw the first one, even if you haven't seen the first one, um, it's, it's, uh... Would you say it's, like, stepped it up in the level? You know, action's bigger? Yeah, I think they've taken, I think they've taken the first one and stepped up about ten notches. I think it's, like, ramped up, wild, um, unpredictable, um, surprising madness. I think it's, uh, it's funny, but also emotional. I mean, these characters go on such a personal, emotional journey. Um, more importantly, because, you know, without that, you know, you don't relate to these people, what they're going through in life, and then the reason why they're dressing up like superheroes. You know, it's really dark and intense. Like, when it comes down to that, there's a real, like, soulfulness to it. And then and then it's just mad, because it's wild, and it's funny, because you're all dressed up as mad, <laughs> lunatic superheroes uh, trying to beat the crap out of each other. Um, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's keeping with the same tone. And it's like, if you're a comic book fan and you like the comic book, then I think you'll be so happy and pleased with it because it's just that whole vibe. It's just, you know. Thank you very much.